Well, hello, my name's Tom Boone, uh, Associate Director for Mission with the Outreach Foundation, and we are in Turkey uh, visiting with a wonderful ministry called Rod Mard. It means uh, it's Persian for Man of uh, Godliness, and this is a men's ministry. It's a one-of-a-kind ministry, and we're glad that they're partners with us. And on this trip, I've been able to bring a, a group of, of guys uh, from uh, the church in Florida. I'm going to let you all talk about that church. So, um, Chris and Caleb, uh, have at, let us know who you are. First. I'm Chris, and uh, I'm the men's ministry guy from uh, First Presbyterian Church in North Palm Beach. I do outreach and evangelism, all things discipleship as it relates to men. And uh, it was a gift to be able to come. Ron Hilliard invited me, the associate pastor at First Pres. And I was able to invite some of these guys, including my son, to come and be a part of this amazing opportunity to be with some brothers from Iran, which has been amazing. Yeah, I'm Kilo Southerd. Um, as you said, I'm uh, Chris Southerd's son. Um, I'm, I currently go to the university at Palm Beach Atlantic University in my, going into my senior year. So it's just been great to experience this before going into my senior year and just seeing the world. Yeah. yeah. And it's great to have you along, Chris and Chris and Caleb. Uh, I think it's one of our first father-son combinations that we've had on a on a visit. So Sweet. way yeah, to man. go! So, folks, what we did uh, today really we've been here for two days. Yesterday we really took a breather and toured Istanbul, and it was a great. Uh, great to see all that. But the main reason we're here is for this wonderful conference. Um, there are 14 other men here. Uh, each of them are Muslim background believers uh, from Iran. And uh, and we are, today was the first day um, of the conference. And Chris, you really ran the show today. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about what you were trying to, to accomplish. And so working off of uh, what Tom had shared in the first meeting about Garden of Gethsemane, and shame and and just loneliness and uh, how Jesus experienced that and and walked through that. We we've been talking a lot about friendship, pilgrimage, the journey, brotherhood, uh, a band of brothers and yeah. and sticking together, uh, being vulnerable. The ingredients of friendship, vulnerable, self awareness, loyalty, common interests. But really, it's just been a relational time where yeah. we been able to share stories, which was probably the most powerful thing for sure, including worship, which, like Tom said earlier, they just they just let it rip. They yeah, just they get did. after it. Yeah. Um, because they can't. They can't country. back home. They, they can't. can't back yeah. home. So yeah. they really, so the, the spirit of the worship is amazing, but hearing their testimonies and then hearing some of us share our stories uh, with vulnerability and um, with authenticity was pretty powerful. And so, Caleb, First of all, Chris, you did a great job, and thanks for bringing teaching. Looking forward to tomorrow as well. Uh, Caleb, why don't you share very briefly, how do you see God at work in all this so yeah. far? Um, just this, from the start of the day, we started off with worship, and that just blew me away how much they were into it, how much like passion they had mm -hmm. to worship God. And it just really opened my eyes to like how much God is working through these people's lives how much passion they have and how much love they have for God, um, just seeing through how they worship. Um, and then just leading on to the next part was we talked about um, some of the guys shared their testimony, and it was really cool to hear from them and see how guys touch them in their lives and how tough it is to be a Christian in Iran. And um, it really made me think a lot about how blessed I am to live in the country that I live in and but also really like really appreciate um just hearing their story and mm. just how how bold they are yeah. and how much faith they have yeah really encouraged me to be and yeah you know, we hear about iran in the news a lot is mm. how many times have you met iranians uh, zero zero this is, so this is your time. first time yeah, and yeah. that's a really great dynamic mm -hmm. so Guys, thanks uh, for what you're bringing to this and for what you're taking away for it. We give thanks to God. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We'll send out another blog. Uh, thanks for listening, and uh, thanks for keeping us in your prayer. Bye for now.